retention with kids with IEPs and is on the spectrum, but the school never discussed the retention. So retention has nothing to do with 504s, general ed, or special education. Retention is a decision between a parent and an administrator. It, ha it is not an IEP committee decision. It's not an ARD committee decision. It's certainly not a 504 committee decision. So the only time in my history that I've ever um, had the parent consider, because it's not my decision, uh, the possibility of retention would be a kiddo that's in kindergarten or first grade. And that is if they have just not come anywhere close to meeting those standards. I did have one kid one time who missed 89 days of school. I think he was a seventh grader um, because he had severe epilepsy. He was in Texas Children's Hospital. He wasn't in school. Um, that was the only time that we had a case where I, I was pro-retention uh, for a kiddo in school. When you look at retention, you have to look at the student is going to be removed from their graduating class. Um, and what is the intention of the retention? Um, if you can use that time to make up skills that weren't worked on or delivered, then, then I'm for that. But I think parents think that another year in fourth grade uh, will make the child's reading difficulties go away, their attention difficulties go away. That's not been my experience. Again, it's not my decision. It's between the parent and the administrator.